The standard convention when financial modeling in a spreadsheet is to format any hard-coded values as blue. Pure blue. Blue 255. Now, Excel doesn't have an easy way to do this by just clicking a button or checking an option, but you can do it with conditional formatting, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is select cell A1. If you don't have cell A1 selected, and then you type the formula into the conditional formatting dialog box, Excel will break the formula. It's easy to fix, and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But for now, let's start with cell A1. So select cell A1, come up here to conditional formatting, click manage rules, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then in this box here, the format values where this formula is true box, type the following formula equals and parenthesis not parenthesis is formula parenthesis a1 double close those parentheses comma is number parenthesis a1 and double close those parentheses then come down to format go to the color drop down click more colors and the blue you're looking for is this one right here. That's pure blue. And if you have a hard time seeing which one this is or you're not quite sure, you can come up to custom, make sure your color model is set to RGB, and then change the red channel value to zero, the green channel value to zero, and the blue channel value to 255. That's as blue as it can get. The value can't go any higher. That's as blue as blue can be. You could also just type in this hex code, which is 0000FF, and that will also give you pure blue. So click OK, click OK, click OK. And then we come back to this dialog box, and we're going to change the applies to range. Right now, you'll notice it's just cell A1. That's the only cell that this conditional formatting is being applied to. But we want to apply it to the entire range or more of the spreadsheet. So change this to whatever you need. I typically go A through Z and that will apply it to every cell from, you know, cell A1 all the way through the very last cell in column Z. Then click OK and now check this out. Wherever a hard-coded value is now typed, it automatically formats that value as blue. And this applies retroactively too, so if you had a bunch of values already in the spreadsheet that were hard-coded, it would turn those blue as well across the entire range where you have chosen to apply this formula. So now let me show you how this formula can be broken or how Excel will break it if you don't already have A1 selected and then what to do about that. Okay, so I'm gonna come back up now to conditional formatting, go down to manage rules. I'm gonna double click my formula and just copy it in here so I don't have to type it again when I show you the how to break it. And then I'm gonna delete this rule. Click okay. So now you can see that rule has been deleted so all these values are now just formatted as black. I'm gonna select cell G1 here. Then I'm going to go up to conditional formatting, click manage rules. There are no rules and you can see that by selecting the show formatting rules for drop down to this worksheet, you can see there's nothing in this worksheet. So I'm going to create a new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Just like before, I'm going to paste my formula in there and I'll change the color of the font back to blue. I've got it down here in my recent colors since I've already used it once in the spreadsheet. Click OK, click OK. Notice the applies to range says G1 instead of A1 because G1 is what's currently selected. And I'll change this to A to Z once again. And I'll click OK. Now notice what happened here. These values didn't change color. They're all still black. These values did. And if we drag this over, you will notice that all the columns to the right have also applied that conditional formatting. And in fact, it will have applied that conditional formatting beyond column Z. So Excel breaks the formula if you don't have the right selection made, selecting A1 when you change the applies to range. And it's a simple fix. So go to conditional formatting, 
manage rules. If you don't see your rule in here, once again, just change this drop down to this worksheet. Make sure your applies to range is where you want it. It should be, but just double check in case it's not. Double click your formula to open it and notice here these values have changed. Excel changed them. It changed them when I adjusted the range where this formula was to be applied. So simple, just change these back to A1. So now I have A1 as I did originally in this formula. Click OK. The applies to range hasn't changed, that's still A to Z. Click OK, and notice all these values now changed. And just to show you that formulas aren't being formatted as blue, let me type in equals rand, close the parentheses. This will just generate a random number. And you can see anything that's a formula is not being formatted, but hard-coded values are. And notice the rand formula updates anytime I make a a change to the spreadsheet. It automatically populates a bunch of new random values in here. So that's an easy way to use conditional formatting to format hard-coded values. Now I just want to close this video by showing you why that formula works. I'm going to open it up and explain it to you so you get some intuition as to what's going on. Maybe you can use this for other things in Excel. So let's go back here to G1 and I'll type the formula here and explain what it is. So equals and not is formula A1 double close comma is not that is number A1 double close. So this is the exact same formula and notice that Excel was auto populating the functions as I was typing them, which is nice. I wish it did that in conditional formatting. It, it doesn't, but I wish it did. So let me explain what's going on here. This AND function says everything in here must be true. I want all these conditions to be true. If this said OR instead of AND, then simply one of these conditions or one of the conditions between the parentheses would need to be true. But I want all these conditions to be met, so we start with the AND function. Next, let's take a look at the isFormula and isNumber functions. We'll come back to the NOT. So isFormula is checking whether a cell contains a formula, and isNumber is checking whether a cell contains a number. Now, I want the hard-coded numeric values. So is number makes sense because I want numbers. I don't want text. If I were to delete this, then it would format the text, but I just want numbers. Okay, so this is good, but I actually want the opposite of is formula. I want the hard-coded values, not formulas. And that's where this not function comes in. So that's how you use conditional formatting in Excel to automatically format hard-coded values and a bit of an explanation as to how to use nesting functions. Anytime you embed functions together, it's called nesting, and it's something you'll use a lot in Excel if you do anything more than just the most basic level of analysis. So that's about it. That's all I wanted to cover in this video. If you like this content, please subscribe. See you in the next one.